this video we're going to be installing the propeller assembly onto the Cherokee 6. So before we install the propeller, we got to install our backing plate, which includes the starter ring gear, connect the belt to the alternator. Uh, most of these are indexed. So if you look here, there's a little stamping to make sure that you orient this properly so when we use the timing marks for the starter or the case seam the timing marks on here will line up with the, the index appropriately so make sure you orient this as needed it's always a good idea to index these things when you take them off so when we did we removed the propeller assembly I indexed it with a paint mark just in case there's marks missing from these we get it installed back in the correct position this propeller assembly, for the most part, is, has been overhauled. It went to a facility in Arkansas called Stallings Aircraft Propellers, and they did a IRAN maintenance on it, so they inspect repair as necessary, but essentially they, it's the same as an overhaul, except they don't shave the blades like Hartzell asked them to for an overhaul, so it's essentially a overhauled propeller. All new seals, all new rings, um, repainted, looks brand new. We got plastic on it, but I'll show you a picture of that when it's done. So we're gonna lift that. You can pick it up if you have two people. It's not so bad, but I'm working by myself, so I'm gonna use the aid of the engine hoist. I'm gonna strap this, and then we're gonna lift it up into place, and then we'll start tightening the nuts. This type of propeller assembly is a little bit complicated when installing the nut or installing the bolts. The bolt is actually a stud that's pinned with this nut and a roll pin here. And you get this space to work in when you're wrenching. So you can't just tighten one down and go around. You have to tighten these in little increments. So when we get it up there, it takes eh, about an hour to get these all tight and then torqued. We're gonna torque these, uh, the range is 55 to 65 foot-pounds. We'll step torque them, we'll do one route to 30 and then we'll do the final torque on the other. These are also torqued dry. So like our engine cylinder bolts got lubricated, these ones are need to be torqued dry. So we're gonna use the hoist, we're gonna lift that up into position, we're gonna start tightening these down and then torque them. And then I'll show you the finish installation once it's up. That'll all be time lapsed, of course. All right, so let's get installing.
Okay, so we got the propeller in and torqued. Next job is to safety these stud nuts to each other. We'll do two each. So there's six bolts. We'll have three pairs of safeties. When we safety this, we wanna take some precautions not to dig up and gouge the hub here where that mounts. You know, if we damage that, we could cause a stress riser there where that could fail and then your propeller comes flying off and then you have a powered gl or a unpowered glider to the ground. A lawn dart, as we would say in tech school. So um, we'll safety these in pairs and then the newly redone propeller by Stallings Aircraft Propeller will be installed. So we've now safety the propeller hub nuts and the propeller is installed. Safety, 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 and safety. Propeller install complete.